Hello, in this video we're going to be going over a simple workflow of taking photos from your camera all the way to the printer. We've just shot some photos on our camera. We have them on the SD card and we want to get them off of the card into our computer and ultimately to the printer. So what I'm going to do is bring your attention to this button right up here on the top that says flash card copy move. That's what we want because we have a flash card. We want to copy or move some data off of that. So click that button and what you see is this dialog. Up here on the top you'll notice it says insert flash card to begin. So I'll take the flash card from my camera, plug that in, and we'll see what happens. QImage Ultimate automatically picked up the card, location, all the photos, and it's just giving you the information about what's on the card up here on the top. You don't have to do anything in this section. I just shot some photos on my pocket camera just for the purpose of showing this video, so let's get those photos and see what we can do with them. Down here on the bottom is where you're going to specify where you want these photos. And basically this is as simple as just talking to the program. You say, I want to move photos to, and I'll browse and find my main folder for photos, and that would be this one. And I notice that QImage Ultimate by default will create a subfolder under this main folder based on the year, month, and day that the photos were shot. So basically we're going to be moving photos to the photos subfolder and we're going to create a new subfolder under this main folder for each day that the photos were shot. And I'm doing move here because I want the card to be empty when I'm done. I want to move the photos off there, get them onto my computer, and have the card ready to put right back in the camera. Now if I had videos, I could also do move videos and let's see, I have another drive that I like to use for videos. The F drive. And now it will move the videos to that location with a subfolder created for the date of, and time of the uh, photos. So you can see you can do a whole lot with this. I mean I can keep going and make, make more, many more of these and uh, I can also put photos on another networked computer here for backup purposes or a different folder. Uh, so you can do a lot with this. But that's pretty simple the way that's set up. And as with most things in QImage Ultimate, it will remember this so that the next time you come in here this should be set up the same way that you need it. It'll just create a new subfolder for a new date and time for your new photos. So when you come in here next time, basically all you have to do is plug your card in and click Go. So let's click Go now and see what happens. You can see it's moving those seven photos. And it's giving you a status update here telling you where it put the photos and how many were transferred. That looks good. I'll close that. Close this. And there's the photos. Um, you'll notice up here, this is where it put them. It put them in that uh, photos folder. Remember, this was my main folder. And underneath that folder, it created a folder for the year, and then a folder for the month, and then under that month, it has today's date. So that's just a good way to keep these uh, photos arranged. Uh, a lot of people like to do it that way. There are plenty of options on how you can store your photos, and you know this part here is not even necessary. Uh, but I like to store them by date. Uh, no reason not to. You can find them pretty easily. Um, now that we're here, all we have to do is basically add them to the page and print the photos. Over here, I've already set up my R1900 because I have some 8.5 by 11 uh, glossy paper that I want to print these on. And I'm not quite sure what sizes I want right now, so I'm just going to click here and do Select All. And that selects all the photos. Now I'm going to go up here to this button. And before I do this, this part's not necessary. I want to preview these first, but if you didn't, you could just click the plus button and add at the current size, or you could use your sizing dialog to pick whatever size you want. 
But here, I want to preview these to see if I have any keepers. So with all these thumbnails selected, I'm going to click this preview and add button. And I get a preview box right here. And I can go through the images one by one. Now it looks a little blurry. I think I'm going to skip that one. You can even rate these photos as you're going. Some of these look pretty sharp, pretty good. Uh, that one's a little blurry. I probably won't print that one either. So now that I've looked at them, um, this one here looks, looks kind of cool. I think I'm going to print one of those. So I'm just going to click the Add button. And there I've got a 4x6. And now I kind of like that one too. So um, I'm going to click the Add button. And let's see. That one was a little blurry. That one looks pretty good. I'll do that one too. So now I'm done previewing and I've, I've added the ones that I want to print. I'll close the preview and that's it. It's as simple as that. We're ready to print. We have four by sixes here ready to go. Um, if we want one of these a little different size, that's easy too. Just click on it and then I have my print property set up to manual. We went over that in the getting started video. So if you haven't viewed the getting started video, you might want to do that. But all, you, all it is is a hold on the right mouse button and wallet. Easy as that. You want to change your mind? It's already selected. Hold the right mouse button again. I'll go back to 4x6. So at that point, you just click this button right up here that says print, and you're off and printing. Now, again, that I had already set up my printer up here, and I had clicked the uh, printer setup, set up all my driver settings the way I wanted them uh, beforehand. But you can do that after if you want. I mean, you could add your, your photos and then set up your printer. It doesn't matter. Um, but we did go over that in the getting started video so that you'll know how to set up your printer and the proper type of paper and things like that. So that's really all that's required. I've just gotten the photos off of my flash card. The flash card's now empty. I've got my photos on the computer. I can plug my empty flash card back in my camera, take more photos. So I've really done it all in that one simple video. And uh, if you click this print button, you'll get uh, the highest quality prints possible on your printer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.